Hey guys, I'm Maximum Anderson, and today I'll be showing you a way to sync audio with video on a Windows-based computer. The program we'll be using is Lightworks, and I think it's available on Windows 7 and up, and it might also be available for Mac OS and Linux as well. So wherever this applies, you can watch this. So uh, it's available in a free version as long as you register your account, and it's also available to purchase if you want some upgrades. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video a little bit, what uh, you miss out on if you don't purchase this program. Myself, I will be working in the free version and I have only used this for about a day, but it's kind of easy to figure out this easy steps for syncing, etc., like that. So if you want to use this as a professional editing tool, it might work. I just haven't put enough time into figuring everything out and I haven't purchased it. So I'm not really sure. Either way, so we open up Lightworks and we go to create a new project. Here we just enter a name, let's call this video. And frame rate, if you know the frame rate of the video, it's always better to choose. Otherwise you can click auto. And my video was 30 FPS, so I'll choose that. So the first place you get to, this might look a little bit confusing, but you'll understand everything soon. First of all, we want to import all the videos that we'll be using. And this here is where you find the videos that you have been importing. So I'll open up my hard drive. That's where I have the videos that I'll be using. So I just drag and drop the video and I'll be using this song here. So now I have my video and my song inside of the project here. Up here you have the log, edit, VFX and audio tabs. And in order to start editing the video and laying it out, we have to go into edit mode. You can do a lot more stuff, but I'll take the quick turns here and, and the quick path to just syncing audio so that you guys aren't getting bored and that you can figure everything out on your own about other stuff. So first of all, we just drag and drop the video into the timeline. So that puts the video in here. Eventually it will load the audio file as well. So you can see the wave files here. And then we have the song right here. So what I would start doing right now is actually just take this one in here. And now we have everything in our project. So we don't need this as much. We can make the size bigger of, uh, of this. So one thing you have to pay attention to in this program is when you're editing, you have to activate and deactivate those that you don't want to edit and the one you want to edit, so to speak. So if I now want to adjust this video here, I should deactivate the tracks for the audio for the song. That way, when I trim this or, or similar, then it won't affect what's happening down there. So the first thing we want to do is maybe trim. It's not necessarily the absolutely first step, but we can do that. And then we figure out where the drums start in the song and where the drums start in the video. So if I listen to this, you can quite clearly see that here is where the drum starts because the transients are much sharper there. So what we can do is deactivate this track, shorten this clip. We might want, might not want to have the whole intro here. And we can clearly see where the drums are in this part. So all we have to do is basically take this and sync it up. You can go ahead and zoom in and be as perfect with this as you want to. Uh, just zoom in and, and keep moving it around. Uh, so you get it up to exactly where you want. But the drums can usually be a little bit ahead of the transient, transients of the song. That way they sync up so that you hear your drums first, which makes more sense when we're playing covers, etc. So this is just a rough way of doing it, but that's good enough for now. What we can do is, is shorten this intro if we want to. We can add cross effects, but we'll get into that soon. So for now, if we play this, We don't ha hear very much of the song at all because uh, when I was recording this video, I didn't pay attention to the sound signal and the audio level because I usually don't use the sound recorded into ca my camera. So this is way too loud settings on the camera, but we can still go ahead and use this. So now we have to switch tab here to the audio tab. Here we can start editing the audio. So these are basically for whatever they're saying. Edit is to edit the video audio is to edit the audio. So in here we don't edit the video and likewise in here we don't change the audio except from positioning. So we can go to the audio place here 
And in here we can easy, easily, by making this bigger, get access to the panning and the levels of the different tracks. So we can activate all the tracks and we can see that everything is a little bit too hot. It's a little bit too high here. So we'll take the audio track from the video and we'll just reduce them to, let's say, minus 12. Let's try that first. So there's two channels, one left and one right. Now the drums in the video should be a little bit softer and maybe we'll be able to hear the audio track a little bit better. So let's try that out, see what happens. So that kind of works out and you can mess around with this uh, and set the balance that you want. Maybe we want less of the song, maybe we want less of the drums, whatever you want to do. I would just make sure that when you're done, try to never have it peak over zero here. It's actually better to have it a little bit lower. So in this case, I would lo lower everything a little bit. So that's how you sync it up. Now it's synced and now you can hear both of them. So now we can go ahead and for instance, let's say we want to do a crossfade on the real drums here on the drums recorded in the video because we want to make sure we don't get some if I'm hitting my sticks together or something we can just click here to create a little mark and we can click here to click to create another marker and we'll just pull this down to make a fade in effect here so that just creates so an effect so that the sound fades in here very easy to do just to make sure the noise isn't there and then if we go to the other track here we can do the same if we want to. In this case, the song starts right away, so we don't want some kind of fade in, but maybe you want to cut the song shorter, then you can add a fade in to make it nice. There, same thing at the end. We can go to the end of the song by zooming out, and maybe we just want to add some fade outs there or cut it short. Right now, this one is really long for some reason. So we can go into edit mode, turn those off, and make this one shorter. Now it should line up. All right, so. You can edit around, now you got the basic tool for trimming, the basic tool for uh, crossfades and such, and how to sync things. So every, the rest is up to you what you want to do with it. You can add some fade outs. In order to do that, let me show you what you do. So now we use the VFX tab to do more things here. So essentially, we can choose. I would say, suggest just turning everything off that you're not going to affect. We click on this. Here is where we start choosing the effects. So we click the plus, and what we want to do now is go to the category of mix. It might show favorites the first time you're here. So mix means mixing together different frames. And we might want a dissolve here, or a, a blend, or whatever you, whatever you want. But let's go for dissolve, so we can just apply the effect, choose the amount of seconds, or frames, or centered where the center is, to here, from here, center here basically means to here, it's gonna cross to that point. So if I want, I, if I'm like, hey, I want it to cross to, uh, let's find the place where I start playing now. It's around here. So if I select to here now, uh, it's, go, uh, it's going to, <laughs> okay, I guess I was wrong. I'm still a little bit new to this, but either way, then I would just say from here that that will start. Makes sense actually, because it has to go between two clicks, clips. So that was my bad. But from here, it will start here and go forward. So two seconds, apply the effect, the dissolve. We get that for two seconds, just so you get a sm sm smooth cross, cross fade in here. And then with the music, so you could have it empty first and then just get a little bit of cross fade if you want, if you want those kind of effects. All right, so, once you've done this, once you've edited this, you can you can keep keep working on color settings and such. There's a lot of different effects here if you go to color, etc. But once you're done, at any time you can right click the video and go to export here. They actually have a setting for YouTube so that you can upload to YouTube right from here. You can select the frame rate, the size, uh, everything like that and then you'll just start exporting this and then upload it and then you're done. So that's essentially everything you have to do in this program. It's kind of easy to make sense of at first. And if you want to dive deeper, feel free to do that. This seems like it could be a pretty strong program, especially being a free to use program. So let's talk about the downsides of not purchasing this program. One of them, 
that I realized was when I wanted to export here, we cannot choose a size bigger than 720p unless we purchase it. And I've seen some effects that you might need to purchase the full version for two. Uh, and except from that, I'm not really sure. I can use the upload to YouTube function if I want to do that. There's some other, I can go all the way to 60 FPS. So really, I'm not sure about all the differences. You could dive into those. But right now, if you're using a freeware software to sync the audio, you might be fine with 720. And if you get serious, you might want to purchase another program or dive into other things. So I hope this basic guide of how to sync audio with video helped you out. I think you can use this on Windows 7 and up, maybe even Mac computers and Linux. So I hope you found this useful. Check it out. Have fun with it. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.